Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common Group channel and today we are going to learn another array based Java program. So in the last video we learned a program in which we tried to find the pairs from a given array whose sum are equal to a given number. So here we had one array like 9, 5, 14, 3, 1, 15 and 6 and then we have given the target number is 20. So we need to find the pairs whose sum are equal to 20 means here 5 and 15 will make the sum as 20. Similar 14 and 6 will make the pair as 20. So whatever logic we learned in previous video that was a brute force. Okay. And always brute force technology or methodology here will be more time consuming or the time complexity will be big O of n square. Okay, so this is good if you are a fraser or if you have less than two years of experience. But if you have more than two years of experience, then you should not use the brute force way in the interviews. Okay, because this is not optimal and they will expect you to write some better, better or optimal coding. Okay, so let's understand or let's try to find a new logic to achieve the same thing. So let me go to the draw.io where I had which I used in last video to explain. So if you see the given array, I'm going to take the same array here. So we have this array like if you see this array, this is unsorted array. Okay. And let's try to explore what will happen if we have this array as sorted. Okay. If you see the below error below array you can see I have sorted this the given array in the ascending order 1 3 5 6 9 14 and 15 so I just sorted the given array now let's find if the sorted array can help us to find the pairs in optimal way okay so this will be obviously the minimum element and this will be the maximum element in the array if you make the if you try to add both the numbers like 1 and 15, it will be 16 and 16 is less than my 20. So when you add these two elements, right? So only three possibilities are possible. Okay. First thing, either the sum will be equal to your target number, either the sum will be less than your target number or sum will be greater than your target number. Okay. So let me write it here. What are three possibilities we have? right so suppose if the target number is 16 means 1 and 15 will make the sum as 16 suppose the target number is only uh, target number is also 16 then we are good here right we can print the pairs but what actually we need to do after after the result whatever we have but in this case suppose it is 16 so we made one pair 1 and 15 so after that point we should go and increment something what is increment means suppose if we have a pointer which keeps the or which points to the first element and we have another pointer which points to the last element so first pointer and second pointer made the sum and we are we have found the element if you if the pair is expected like it is 16 then we should move both the pointers when the first pointer second pointer because we should go here means th uh, three the after this first pointer will move to third and the last pointer will move to the second last element right because we got the pair but suppose in this case like 1 and 15 will made 16 and 16 less than your target less than your 20 so what we should do in this case because if you try to move the pointer for, uh, if you try to move the both the pointers so it will not help suppose what will happen if you move the pointer in this case as well so uh, if you the pointer will become, come to 3 and 14 but if you see 15 and 5 okay we, we are going to lose this pair because if you are leaving this uh, this element also in case of less than target then you are going to move this uh, you are going to lose this one element so you're not going to find this pair okay so the logic says that if the sum is equal to target if it is 15 plus 1 16 is the target then better 
to move both the pointers first pointer to the also next pointer and the last pointer will point to the second last whenever you are matching whenever the uh, sum is same or sum is equal to your target simply move both the pointer first pointer will be incremented second pointer will be decremented okay but sum is, when the sum is less than target like here 15 plus 1 16 which is less than 20 so in this case you should not increment sorry decrement the last point why because this is the lowest element this is the maximum element correct so if you add this element to the any of the number obviously it is not going to make 20 because the array is sorted the maximum element and the minimum element is not making the pay, making the sum as 20 it is less than that so whatever elements you add to one either 14 9 6 anything you add to one it will not be 20. so in this case when sum is less than your target always always move or increment the first pointer logic is there right why because if you don't move or if you if you move this one okay then you are going to lose uh, lose this pair 5 15 and 5 obviously we cannot move both the pointers we know we will lose the pair if you move the the last one again you will move uh, lose the pair so only the safe thing is there you need to move or increment the first pointer because if you add this number to any of the element it will not make the pair uh, sum as 20 but the last point if the sum is get uh, greater than target suppose your target if your target number is 10 so if you had uh, if you add these two numbers 1 and 15 it will be 16 and 16 is greater than 10 correct in this case uh, which pointer you should move if you move this pointer okay obviously we cannot move both the pointers because that is clear here because we are going to lose the pair but if you take this one if you try to move this pointer okay then what will happen this is the maximum element right you if you add this element to any of the element right it will be always greater than your target number right so in this case when the sum is greater than your target element always increment this pointer okay because there's no need to of keeping this one okay so you should increment the second pointer sorry decrement the second pointer here so the logic says that when the sum is equal to your target then move both the pointers means the first pointer will be incremented and the last pointer will be decremented okay if the sum is less than your target okay then you should move or increment the first pointer okay but if the sum is greater than your target then keep the first pointer as it is and move the second pointer that means you need to decrement this decrement the second pointer okay so this way the sorted array can help so let me write the logic if the sum is equal to your target then what you need to do i plus plus suppose if the first pointer is keeping i here and j is the second pointer then it will be i plus plus and the second uh, second uh, point will also be moved so it will be j minus minus then same thing here if the sum is less than target then you should move the first pointer if the sum is greater than your target then it should be j minus minus right so i have already created a new class sorting here let me close the first one okay so first thing i need to sort the array so we have a class called arrays okay from java.util and we have a method called sort okay and pass the array so this method will sort the array okay and we need to have two pointers why two pointers because first pointer will we need to add the number side right? from the uh, from the beginning and from the last and we need to keep moving so i will create a pointer int i equal to which will be the first index element that is 0 okay now i will have int j and this j will point to the last element right so it will be what input array 
डॉट लेंथ माइनस वन राइट बिकॉज इंडेक्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो सो वी शुड स्टार वी शुड फाइंड द लेंथ एंड देन माइनस वन दिस इज द वे यू कैन गेट द लास्ट एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द इंडेक्स सो लास्ट लास्ट एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द अरे ना वी नीड टू फाइंड वी नीड टू स्टार्ट द एडिंग राइट बट टिल वेन वी नीड टू एड यू नीड टू एड टिल i is less than j because if you are crossing if if the j is crossing i or i is crossing uh, j right so there is no meaning of that so we need to it uh, do this process till i is greater than j okay so while i so not i is not greater than i less than j right because i is starting from the lowest so zero so if i less than j we need to keep this process okay so what is the first thing if input array of i input array j what is the first condition if it is equal to sum right that is the happy happy flow if the first element after the sorting the first element and the last element both equal both sums are equal to my target number then let me print the number right let me print the number means input array okay i will use the comma then input array of j this is the happy thing but the logic will be tricky if the sum is not equal to target number so we have only two flows right if it is less than target number so let me put the target number here instead of 20 okay so if the sum sum is less than target number then what we need to do we need to increment the first pointer only right so what i need to do i plus plus but we made one mistake here after printing the array we need to move the pointers right means it will be i plus plus and then j minus minus because we already added these two numbers so to move we need to go to the next element and here also we need to go to previous element so since the second pointer is pointing to the last index so we obviously we need to do minus minus so that only we can reach here so we did here j i plus plus and j minus minus if the sum is less than target number in this case we need to move the first pointer right we understand why we why need to move the first pointer or and let me copy this one only you can use the else if also but let me just for the more readability i will give if the target num if the sum is greater than target number in this case you you need to we need to move the second pointer right move the second pointer means we need to decrement the i sorry j means it will be j minus minus and we know why we need to move the second pointer okay that's all we need to do let me run the program and let's see what is the output we should get the same output which we got in the last program okay so we see 515 and 614 so if you have any doubt please comment comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone